Now, think of the happiest things. It's the same as having wings. Let's all try it just once more. There it is, Wendy. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine. I'm a sophomore in college and today I'm showing you my very basic, messy, and simple bullet journal setup for 2021. Last year, I used a dotted blue Loistrom notebook. As you can see, I just about used it up, so I'm very excited to be starting a new journal for this new year. This camel brown dotted notebook was gifted to me by the lovely, incredible YouTuber Amanda Rachel Lee, along with her new 2021 doodle planner in the shade Lilac. Her planner is predated with hand-drawn illustrations, cool spreads and trackers, and blank dotted pages throughout it looks incredible and for this bullet journal i'm using today the pages are dotted very thick and amazing quality and just look at that cover design it's just gorgeous so be sure to check out her store shop amanda rachel lee which will be linked down below now without further ado let's hop right in so first i added my name to of course make sure everyone knows that this is my journal and also because i am <laughs> lose everything all the time. <laughs> then I decided to go with a constellation theme for this whole setup, which is why I'm picking out blues and greens and purples for my highlighters. I thought it would give a nice keep your head up, anything is possible vibe to set the mood for the rest of the year. Quick note, this blue marker that I'm using for the big 2021 in the middle of the page actually bled through because I didn't realize it was basically a sharpie. So even though anything else wouldn't bleed with these pages, this did because of my mistake. But regardless, I added a ton of stars and little dots and sparkles around the center and you'll see me repeat this design throughout the entire journal. I actually made a bullet journal setup video last year for 2020, which you can watch by clicking above in the cards. Obviously, I'm in quite a different state than I was from last year's bullet journaling video, so that's something to keep in mind. My focus is on creating spreads that are lovely yet simple and functional. I transitioned mostly into that towards the end of last year, so I'm definitely planning on sticking with that this year. For the rest of this title page, I added a little quote that I made up. This year is written in the stars, keep your eyes to the sky. Besides its relation to the obvious constellation theme, I wanted to remind myself not to be too disappointed if anything doesn't go to plan this year because what's meant to happen will happen, so I should just keep my head up and keep moving forward. Then I added a few little constellation designs I found from Pinterest, and these are all actually related to my birth chart and astrological signs. I'm a Virgo sun, Scorpio moon, and Sagittarius rising, and on the cusp of Libra, so these are the constellations that I added here. Another note I wanted to make for full transparency, I do not rely solely on my bullet journal. I also use my iPad and Google Calendar to keep track of deadlines and assignments and YouTube planning, but having a bullet journal helps make sure I'm keeping track of all these important aspects of my life on paper as well as electronically, so I've learned to use a mix of both. Yep, so you can see how only that blue sharpie bled through. So I ended up covering it with some glued on photos later actually. Next, I set up my yearly overview with all the months, which is something I usually do with my bullet journals. However, I wanted to try something new by adding spaces for notes next to each month, but this really messed up the spread. <laughs> when I lined up the months, I somehow left off November and December. I truly don't know how that's even possible. I think I was listening to a really intense podcast, so my mind was just not entirely there. Please forgive me and pretend it doesn't bother you too much. As you can see, this is the moment when I realized my ridiculous mistake. So to chat a little bit more about my bullet journaling techniques, I started bullet journaling in middle school, I want to say, when I first discovered it on Tumblr or Pinterest. I was such an artistic kid and very into organization, so this felt insanely perfect for me. I always went all in with perfect color schemes and magazine cutouts and detailed sketches, but as I got older, it felt less functional for an actual planner, so I scaled it down quite a bit in high school. Now in college, it's settled into that nice balance between a creative outlet and an actually useful agenda, but of course, I'm constantly still exploring that balance. So again, to continue that constellation theme, I added a ton of stars and sparkles and little dots at the top, along with the sideways title of 2021 at a glance. It's sideways to add a fun little element of something different, and as I mentioned earlier, if I have important dates to keep in mind throughout the year, I can jot them down here first. For my next spread, we have my goals page, or what is essentially my resolutions page. Now don't laugh, but I'm hoping that if I rename this page goals instead of resolutions, it'll make me actually stick to them a bit more, but of course that's likely just wishful thinking. 
I divided it up into four categories of physical, mental, academic, and work-related goals, and while I didn't fill them in here, they all ended up being very specific and feasible, like do another fundraiser on social media, or journal three times a week, so I could hopefully take legitimately actionable steps towards achieving them. Now, in all honesty, I wasn't sure what to title this next page, so I just called it Now Viewing, but it's just a page where I can dump all the books I should read, films to watch, and shows to binge this year. As you can see, I'm constantly underestimating how much space I have, and so the titles of each category are slightly different, but it doesn't matter to me so long as it still works. After all, that's the beauty of bullet journaling. In the end, it's only meant to serve and help you, so you're the only person that needs to be satisfied with the final outcome. Again, I added some little star and constellation-esque designs to split up each category and that's pretty much it. So I wanted to split up the functional spreads with something a little more artistic and fun, so I wrote a quote I've been really loving lately that I actually saw on my friend Katie Yu's Instagram story once. It was a variation of this quote, if you wouldn't go to them for advice, then don't take their criticism. So here I wrote, don't take criticism from anyone you wouldn't take advice from. That really truly resonated with me as someone who cares way too much what others think of them. So this year I wanted to make sure I keep reminding myself to focus only on the opinions and voices of those who truly matter to me. Then to finish off the page, I added lovely, little star designs, sparkles, a moon, and a constellation known as the Big Dipper. For this next page, which is my content planning spread for YouTube, Instagram, Discord, etc., I actually took inspiration for the design from Pinterest. Pinterest is definitely one of the best places to get bullet journaling inspiration. I definitely recommend it. The top of the page looks like little ornaments related to space are hanging from string. So I added a planet, the moon, a star, and a rocket ship. I made this super simple too, with just three checkmark categories for when each video is filmed, edited, and posted. And I could do the same for any content I post on other sites. Getting close to the end here, I added a page called Highlights, which I actually did quite consistently back in 2018, I wanna say. But it's a slight brain dump slash memory dump page where I can jot down a quick note about any particularly fun moments of 2021 that I wanna make note of and look back on. Finally, on this last page, I drew an extremely ugly planet. Like, I mean, ugly. It just barely looks like a planet. I don't even know what I was drawing. And I wrote, dear 2021 dot 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 in the middle. And this is meant to be another kind of manifesting or brain dump page where I can really just add any little reminders to myself or wishes I want for this year that aren't quite structured enough to make it onto that goals page I made earlier. So that is it for my 2021 bullet journal setup. I always set up my monthly and weekly spreads as I go, which is why I haven't included that here. But I hope you enjoyed this late yet fun little video about my bullet journal setup. I'm sincerely hoping this year is kind and forgiving and generous to us all. And I hope you're able to show that same kindness, forgiveness, and generosity towards yourself this year. Stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.